Hello everybody, this is Arathas and welcome back to RimWorld 40k Season 3. So, we are having our first caravan still coming in, which means that... Yeah, we're picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. Uh, the only thing I've done since then is actually start the job for people to make chem fuel because I really would like to get this Kestrel uh, going so we can speed up the resource gathering. So, yep, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to keep trying to get the new resources brought in so I can finish these new bedrooms and everything. may take a little while, but I think we'll get there. Also, I would really like to clean this whole area up. And again, starting to drive me nuts that my people are just leaving shit laying out like this. It's like, you know we need all of these resources, right? Uh, Shog and Cummings are still on the way with their new friends, the Muffalo. I'm going to unleash the animals a little bit so they're not trapped in the freezer. Hopefully they don't starve to death because it's weird that they seem to always want to. But hey. <laughs> Alright, so we have plenty of power finally. We did fix this last episode, thank god. I couldn't believe how many times I forgot to rebuild that. Or not rebuild, but actually build in the first place. Uh, the conduits. So much wasted power. It's kind of annoying, frankly. Yes, yes, Arathus. Just gonna run around breaking conduits, aren't you? You fucker. And yes, I'm aware I'm saying that to myself. Ooh, elk. Uh, not here. <laughs> Damn it. That would have been a good way to get some meat. Caravan 1 has arrived. Ooh, textile traders. Uh, Floki, Floki, Floki. Floki, Floki. Talk to the textiles trader, if you would please. See what we can get out of these guys. Well, shit, nothing I actually want. <laughs> now, somebody did give me a very good idea, though, as to how to get rid of... They're multiplying. How do I have two effigies now? Uh-uh. Had enough of that. No, 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 no. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a very small... How many blocks do I have of, like, what's my most numerous? Slate. Okay. We are going to build a slate room. And I will probably break it down afterwards. Zone, stockpile. Gonna clear all, and we're gonna find those damn effigies. Corrupted weapon, demonic weapons. Holy shit, that's a lot of demonic stuff. Question is, is where do we find those particular items? Probably under items. Artifacts, not artifacts. Huh. It's not gonna be under arcades, not gonna be under unfinished art, maybe? Nope. Huh. Okay, so it's not gonna be in that section. Let's look under manufactured. Curious effigies, yes. come up here. I'm going to say no curious effigies. Cool. Okay. Now, I would like you people to haul those fuckers. Got it? Kill. Cool. Now, if somebody would be so kind as to finish this wall and shog, for now, shog, I think I'm going to send you back on foot with the muffalos to pick up some new shit. 
Also, I need to build a corral for the muffaloes, so let me do that real quick as well. Structure, slate. Maybe up here in the corner would be a good corral for them. I kind of like the idea of it being like a, for the most part, wide open. Let's go with a slate door. Hmm. Throw it there. And I will actually put in a pair of rooms up here that will actually be covered for our animals. Like one will be for food and one will be for slate. Ah, not slate. What the hell am I talking about? Um, yeah, <laughs> um, one will be for them to sleep in. Let's go with new animal area, rename to Muffalo. Okay, expand a lot area, Muffalo. This is your home, Muffaloes. So I'm going to do stockpile zone here. Clear all. And we are going to learn how to make feed for the muffalos. Like, isn't there some type of food I can make them? Because if it's just kibble, I can make kibble eventually. Let's go to foods, raw. Oh, animal feed. Psh. Hey, kibble and silage. Now, I want to make sure my animals can actually eat that shit, so let's see. I'm not sure. Kibble! They can indeed eat kibble. Now, we don't have a lot of meat, so kibble's gonna be a bit rough to pull off. So add bill. Make bulk kibble. So I need hay. Okay. Do until X. And we'll go... It's like 2,000. Come up here. You may not have animal feed in there. And let's see. How do we do this now? I need a spot for kibble. I have a lot of Calma. I have a shit, no, not as much medicine as I actually thought. So I'm going to build just a new uh, fucking growing zone for hay. And I'm going to build it. You know what? God damn it. <laughs> Let's go to terraforming. And we're going to do rich soil. And we're going to do it here. That's going to turn into a hay spot. Animals. You are actually going to be restricted to the animal area where you can actually get to food. Okay. Now, Floki. I actually want people to get to work on this. I'm just not sure which ones I'm going to force to do that. How are our resources looking at this point? Do I have enough materials to make even a single drill? Because that would be outstanding. No. But I can give the order to start. Building a couple of these. That's where I want that to go. Oh, yeah, that's about right. Zone. Zone. Come on now. Yeah, it looks good to me. This way our people will get some of the resources. Like, we'll get a bunch of the resources transported. Hell yes, Yukari. Yukari. 
I'm not even gonna need to take Shog on foot back to the old base. Morning prayers. Oh, so you want morning prayers as well? Okay. Sure. We have morning and evening sermons. Get to it. Shit, look at all the good Imperial citizens showing up. Is that what you guys are doing right now? There we go. The sermon has ended. It took a while for everybody to gather. But they gathered. Who needs treatment? Yukari? Yeah, that fucking... Yeah, that fucking Dark Eldar Toxin thing is some bullshit. I think my biggest problem with it, too, is I can't seem to find a cure for it. So I am very close to turning to the uh, dev console, or the dev mode, to get rid of it. But, I don't know if there is a way to get rid of it even there, so we'll have to see. Excellent, Floki. Okay, now we need a door. So the plan here is, let's go structure. Slate Imperial Door. Floki. I want you to do this. Now, I know this isn't your primary weapon. I know you're not going to like being switched over to one of these. But this was a very... This was an idea that was mentioned in the comments, and I can see it working quite well. Floki. Basically, put that shit in here. It was also an idea for, um, what's it called? Uh, it was also an idea as to how to get rid of bodies, you know, easy, more easily. Oh, am I going to have to put, like, some little piece of tinder in the middle? You know what? I can do that. Just put in wooden floors real quick. Then maybe a wooden block, since I can't really seem to target just the floor. Unless, can I target... Nope. I'd have to do this. Let's see if that works. Nah, I want to do it from inside. Okay, fire here. Doesn't quite do it, does it? Can't really seem to do any damage to that thing. Okay, fine. We are going to have to put in some wood or some shit. Let's go with wooden walls like here and... I don't know, I'm just trying right now. I'm just trying shit right now. And wooden floors. Basically really push the tinder, right? <laughs> it's just not a very good burner. Alright, Floki, we're gonna try this again. Floki. Yeah, if the burner can't do it, then... We'll see what we can do, but... I have hopes. Okay, you're not setting anything on fire. This is indoors. What the hell kind of burner is this? Okay, it doesn't actually cause full-on fires. Well, fuck this thing then. Come back up here and get your... Um... Bolt pistol, please. No, 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 no. Bolt pistol is your primary weapon. That needs to be dropped. 
Man, I was hoping that would do it, but nope. Ooh, thank you for making that shit, Potato. Might have to make just a traditional flamer. Good on you, Santa. Keep that shit going. Breakup. Tinker and Blade Break are no longer in a relationship. Okay, I didn't even remember that you were. Let's see, Blade Break. Let's make sure you guys aren't sharing a room. Okay, good. It's like, Jesus, that's... I've had that happen. It's like, why, why didn't one of you just move out to a new room? Rebecca is pregnant. Who the fuck is... Re oh, one of our huskies. <laughs> It's like, I don't remember a damn Rebecca. Okay, prioritize fueling the OHU Kestrel. Funny thing is, the Kestrel doesn't have to actually chill here for very long. Like, I don't need the full fuel. Would like you to enter the ship. Now, let's see. I want to set parking. Okay, so that's its parking space. Okay. Launch the vessel. And now I get to dictate where it lands. Land the vessel. That was fast. <laughs> Load the vessel. <laughs> Come on now. Load. Can only hold 185. You know what? That's still more than our previous one. 370. Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can't hold that much. Go. Dude, load the vessel. Cool. This is your parking here. Launch the vessel. Come over here. Land right here. Go. I love how quickly it works. And it's not using a whole lot of fuel, so... Shog, this is legitimately your job. Launch vessel. I really hope it got unloaded when it landed. How much you want to bet it didn't? It did not, motherfucker. That was my fault, though. I it occurred to me as soon as we left. Hello, Shog. Let's go into the ship. Yeah, it was a wasted trip right there. Uh, send them away. I would really love them to join us for longer. Like. You know, so I can recruit the fuckers, but that's not in the cards right now. I need to recruit new dudes, but that's not going to be the way I go about it. Yeah, it seems like it'd be better to just go back with all of the damn... Like, with just a horde of fucking animals. Shall we tame elephants? That was a recommendation that was given as well is maybe tame some of the big-ass animals that roam this area and have them help us with the caravanning. I forgot how much it takes to build another ship, or I would. Like, a Valkyrie would be even better. We don't have any resources for that. And the Kestrel's tiny, that's why we built the Kestrel. I really wanted the um, normal dropship, the small freighter, but I feel like the Valkyrie is the one we should be saving resources for at this point in time. Yeah, all these are ready to go with most of the resources needed. Ooh, it's an exotic goods trader. Please tell me you have... I mean, you're not going to have steel for the most part, but you might have some other shit. Like components, yes. 
I don't need that, but I will attempt to buy all your plasteel. I mean, I don't need a brain, but... Oh, how I wish you would come to my city with steel to sell. Ooh. That's just a steel statue of the Arbides. I thought that was going to be like an idol to the Emperor. Now, there is an idol to the Emperor, but that shit's expensive. That's not. I'll buy that. Ah, eh, fuck it. I'll buy both of them. Not like I can't use Prometheum to make up the difference. A bit. You guys best haul that shit. So yes, we are attempting to tame elephants. I'm not sure how well it's gonna go. What are your guys' problems? Well, I know it's hot, fuckers. It's a heat wave here in the desert. You guys seem to be under the misconception that we're trying to be, like, like this is some kind of fucking resort. It is not. Huh. Come on. Get your shit together, guys. Yeah, I really want this done, too, guys. Might need to just like throw shit in here. Low water temperature. Wait. What's going on? There's a lot of water stored. Where is the hot water heating elements? Yeah, this is weird. Allow this hot water tank to control connected boilers. I could swear I had boilers. No, I do. I have solar heaters. What's going on here? You are connected. Are you connected to power? You are indeed. Oh, it's the eclipse. Fucking hell. I should probably put in some normal boilers then. Walk-in freezer unit. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Washing machine. All it does is... <laughs> I like that. Spin cycle washing machine. It spins and cycles. Colonists can watch it and meditate. That is all. Litter box. Okay. Sure. I should put in the sprinklers too because they can speed up growth, but right now that's not a big deal. Where are my boilers? Yeah, electric boiler. I'm actually going to put like a few in here then. Ooh, that uses steel. I wish it didn't. I truly wish it did not. I really need to call for, like, I wish I could request a bulk goods trader from, you know, something that's not a um, local village because they don't really have enough shit for me. We do have a lot of steel. What's going on? Hmm. I mean, I appreciate that the steel slag is being dealt with, but yeah. Well, I guess we can start doing this. That'll give us a little bit more steel, considering this whole damn thing's made out of steel. Can also go with floors and do 
slate flagstone, considering it is a prison. Get to it, guys. So how many animals work for me now? Just an extra elephant. Okay. We're calling for morning prayers. Get over here. You know Shog is... Ooh, Shog is getting pure. I mean... I kind of wish you hadn't been a dick for going nuts and trying to kill me, but Shog... Shog showed you how bad of an idea that is. Let that be a lesson to all your brethren. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to deconstruct the Kestrel. Because now that I've seen the size of the... Um, like We have the resources to build the other one. I think we are going to build a Valkyrie. Oh yeah. I want a Valkyrie. Delivering resource. Yeah, I think we have enough resources to do this. Maybe not enough components. Definitely not enough components. But we could try. How much steel do we have left? I don't think we have any steel left, frankly. I was gonna say, I could make more components. No, no, I really can't. I don't have steel. So I'm gonna unsuspend it, but I don't have steel. Wait, I can actually get rid of my solar panels at this point. Uh, in case you guys are wondering if I'm crazy or not, this thing provides all the power I need at the moment. I do still need to make sure that the... Uh, what do you call him? Ooh, pirate merchant. He'll have some shit for me. Ooh, that is awesome looking. Target fuel level. Ooh, 3,000? Fuck yeah! Alright, now let's go and look at our power conduits. Our power is no longer reaching. Uh, from here to the other side. Deconstruct power conduits. Yes. Yep. Now, in case you guys are wondering why I am, you know, capable of doing this... I actually have a large amount of, uh, what's it called? Um, I have a mod that increases the power output of the ship reactor. So no, it's not the standard weak reactor. It is full on capable of providing all my power needs. Not indefinitely, like if I get new, like when I put the drills up, I'm gonna need eventually more shit. But for now, we good. Uh, chem fuel, please. How much chem fuel is sitting around? Cool. Yo, Shog. Refuel the Valkyrie. We got jobs to do for you. You gonna go get the chem fuel we just bought? I like that his, um... Purity level has increased. He is now pure. Okay, this is your parking space. We are going to launch you over here. What can I load this thing with? That's better. <laughs> Not a whole lot better, but it is still better. 1200, okay. Shaw, get up in that bitch. 
That sounds wrong, but... I'm going to take the food. Yeah, I'm just trying to clear out... I'm not going to take granite chunks or slate chunks. Uh, all the silver? Yes. And then all the steel. Get to it, Chog. It's a lot of work for just you, but you're a space marine. I trust you to handle it. Cool. Launch ship. Land right here. Okay, let's look at the cargo. Beautiful. This is going to be fantastic. Uh, you know what? Arathas can go on the next trip. Launch here. Yep, land right here. Do I have two of them now by accident? No, it's just the graphic glitch. Okay. So, Arathas, I need you to load this thing up. Items. I was getting excited. Maybe the game glitched in my favor for once, as, <laughs> as opposed to against me. Okay. Launch ship. And yeah, land over here. And this one came back. Okay. I mean, sure. Yeah, there's a bunch of resources here to get hauled off. Yeah, no, with this, we'll be able to get a bunch of these drills built very quickly. I think our first one's about ready to get built. Let's, let's let them do it. Can you haul the shit that's like, you know, in the way? Somebody? Thank you. All right, so the first one is to mine deep steel. Do, you know what, for fucking ever. And that will provide, after a few more trips, we'll have everything we need to make all these drills. So yeah, this is going to work out very well for us. Ah, <sighs> yep, the Valkyrie was the right call here. Uh, granted, for the price of the Valkyrie, I could have built two Kestrels, and I think both Kestrels would have had similar capacity. Each Kestrel would have had similar capacity. Well, Kestrel? Not the Kestrel, sorry. Uh, the OHU dropship, not the Kestrel, would have had enough, like, I could have had two for the price of this one and would have hauled as much. Difference is, though, these things, they would not have had as much fuel, because I know the OHU stuff only maxes out at five. The 3,000 fuel in the Valkyrie means we're gonna have a hell of a fucking, um, yeah, we're gonna have a hell of a range, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Either way, though, that is all the time that I have for today, so thank you everybody so very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today, and with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more RimWorld 40k Season 3, where we will finish off all the drills now that we have the Valkyrie, and we're going to finish off this pen area up here, uh, once enough people have finished the rich soil so I can actually grow hay. But either way, we'll have to see how that goes next time, where I am also very nervous about a attack because it's been a while and I'm ready for a brutal raid. We'll see how it goes, though. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, guys.